up, Fish Tank people? FishTankTV.com, Dustin's Fish Tanks, bringing it to you, baby, from Denver. And I was thinking to myself, I'm like, how can I bring the most freaking value and bring as much education as I can to Bob's Fish Room? And we're going to talk about some fish, but we're going to talk about how he sets up his fish room. I've actually scripted this out. I'm not going to BS it. Like, this is some good stuff. I want to make sure we hit every topic. So here we go. Bob's Fish Room. <laughs> love it, love it, love it, dude. All right, so I've got this hey, flipped around. Here it is. Dude, how long have you had this room, bro? This room has been set up for 12 years. 12 years, okay. And the design of this room, like how long did you plan going into it? Like what were, you know what I'm saying? Cause like, you've been in the hobby, this was, this what was, was the an plan? thing, I'll tell you. I was in the business, I got out of the business, I had no fish tanks for five years. No fool, I didn't know that. I knew no, you were in the business, I didn't know there was a sabbatical. Well, not a sabbatical. And then I but. took a bedroom upstairs and turned it into a fish room. And when my wife wanted to do stained glass, I turned her stained, that room into the stained glass studio. And I said, I'm going to take half the basement. Hey, and it works. It works I well. Made, uh, <laughs> gave me a chance to get back into there he fish is. again. There he is. Finally, I've been waiting on him. Ah. So, but but like the planning. So you're moving down from here. What did the planning look like in your brain? Like I'm going down here because you got to have it fundamentally Absolutely. certain things. We got the air pump, Absolutely. water, heat. So what's the what were the fundamental things for you from the start? Well, I had to decide how big it was going to be, and the way this basement is set up. Half of it uh, just seemed to work perfectly. So I took and made the plans to do that. I took the side that was less encumbered. I insulated the ceilings. I put 40 mil plastic around to keep the heat in there. And let's just let's just go high level on that. You're heating the whole room, I'm heating not the, the individual room. tank. So he's got it all up here. While I'm looking around, central and air, is it an open loop? Jamaica, it's a closed clo loop. Excuse me, closed loop. So it's, it's a full a circle loop. all the way around. Two old school fish tank ninjas have told me that. You, I, I don't know if Gary mentioned it or not, but also uh, Mike Barber. So obviously that's the way it's done. It looks like it's working well. well that was We've the unplugged way to it. Do it. Hey, it's working. And it's been working a long time like this. And you, and what's your take on just oxygen in an aquarium? I mean, like just break it down, simple like gas, air. What do you think about it? You know, it all depends on where the fish comes from. Okay. Because you've got fish that come from the streams. Right. You've got fast water, highly oxygenated. You've got fish that come from the backwaters, from the tide pools, you know, a little less. You've got fish that are in the little ponds that are slowly drying up. You've got next to no oxygen. Okay, okay. So try to recreate it. And what you can do is you can generally regulate the amount of air that's bubbling in a tank. Which we can all see here. Which we can I've got do. this exact same setup in my greenhouse. Love that. Gemco, baby. They crush yep. it for that stuff. So, you heat the room. You've got you your air all the way around. Yes, I want to show you something. Okay, bring it. Say, How do you bring heat it. the room? How do you heat the I room? I heat the room. That heats the room. That's it. That's it. And folks, it is toasty in here. But you walk right out the door, and it ain't bad. And we've covered the air. We've covered the heat. Dude, when I came out here almost a year ago, I was blown away by your water setup and Greg Sages and Tori Browns, I want to talk about water. Folks, make it easy right. on yourself to do water. Come around here with me, Bob, so okay. people can hear you talk. Sure. This is Bob's setup. I know it's a drain and fill fit system. You go. T talk to everybody right. about how this works, because it is legit. My good friend, Greg Sage, what he's done is- Click the link below to Greg Sage's room. You can okay. see his thing. Yeah, people he, can see that. He's great. Loves a lot of valves and a master with PVC. He is we came cool. in and we did half of this fish room. And how it's set up is they're set up at different levels to drain. Again, depending on the fish, how much wow. water I want to drain. That's out awesome. Of there. So what happens is we set up the attachments that go right to my sink. And this way it can drain right out and I can fill it right in. Wow. And when it's not up, it's just, it goes away so that the floor is unencumbered. I really like it. It's easy. I can turn around, I can open the valves, and I, and I know I'm not going to be able to drain it too long. That's awesome. Yeah, so it's a walk away kind of thing. You can get away from it. You can, it's easy on yourself. 
Now, how about a lot of things? You can drain, yeah. Nice diameter, big flow. Did you glue these pipes? Just curious. Yeah. You glued them all. Yeah. All right. And then, so you don't have any little overflows here. These are all just. This is the overflow. That's it. These are off. When that's off, there's no like water. There's no. There's no con at, continuous. It, at. <laughs> he busted in at lunch. Me, yeah. He busted in at lunch. Come around this way, Bob. Tell us more. So, all right. So. To that, we talked about at lunch, you're like, you know, I'm thinking about redoing it. So, before we go, uh, well, yeah, I want to go what you love, but what do you not love about the room? Because this is part of it, because you're talking about doing something different. Right. What are you going to change? What could people learn that you would might suggest them to do differently? You're right. You know, when I was home a lot, Dustin, it worked for me. Home a lot. Or, uh, evolve your tank style around your lifestyle. Well, my lifestyle, I can't, my lifestyle, I, as much as I love my fish. Kill that, I want to get these rainbows. I am not about wow, to change. Wow, that's the rainbow light, never mind. <laughs> I am not about to change my life just for my fish. Right. So what I want to do, what it, what's been happening here, is that between trips, before trips, while, while I'm working, I have to come home and I have to jam through these tanks and... It's just, it's a lot of work. Yeah, and now, you're, wor I'm you're home, working what, three months a year? How many months I'm a year? I'm working three months a year. Okay. I'm traveling two months a year. So you're gone a lot. All right, oh, oh yeah, I didn't know it was that much. So, ah. with all of that, it's like I'm enjoying my tank seven months a year, but five months, even though I'm not here, I'm working very hard on you're, you're working on them. So, what would you do differently because you're doing a, you're doing a lot of work? If you were, hypothetically speaking, able to do another fish room somewhere around here, what would you do differently to make it easier? It would be all automated. Automated? Automated. Automated set up so that the tanks would change on a set basis. Different banks would change. Some would change every third day. Some would change once a week. Wow. Some would change once every two weeks. And the designated amount of water that would get changed in it. Okay, so you so could automate all that. I can automate all of that. I'd like to take and improve the lighting through the whole place now, especially since I'm growing. I'm having now my aquatic gardens. Yeah. In here, and just I'm enjoying. Can, can you can you touch on that real quick? Because you said like you used to just buy lights for the cichlids to light the sand, and it wasn't really right. that. So now it's a little different because now you obviously have a thing for you like some plants. You like the man likes the plants. So well, that's it. It's put a whole new meaning to these to these tanks for me because. They always said if you have African cichlids, you can't have plants. Look at that. Well, they just didn't clarify that enough. Yeah, well, and, and here's if the you thing. Look around. You're. We're, we're finding out what works and what doesn't. Well, and that's the thing. You're willing to try it. Some people are just like, well, that won't work. Try it. You mean, you've had you've had some not success. Like, Let's you know. See. I've had not success with plants. I've had not success with fish. It's how you learn. Okay. Bob, exactly I got to. Exactly how you learn. So. Uh, from from like uh, now I want to go I've got your setup I want to talk about your maintenance routine ideally in here if everything's running full cylinders you're not traveling like how do you how would you do maintenance in here what's kind of a system you got I know you like to, to blare some music rock out and have fun I've oh, enjoyed yeah, there's always there's always there's always music going in my oh fishing. dude it's got to Fronto's always, amazing always music going on here but what I do is it's just unfortunately it's all in my head right um but it's i know these tanks these tanks don't change for me like we built the tank it's the same water it's the same everything it's just more space for them to grow so it, depending on again the tank itself depends uh, on how much maintenance is going to go in there. okay so you are right, so it's a bit seeks well like yeah the tank itself god this is a ridiculous little thing of these any last final oh what do you what do you love this is the final this is the final money question i had to think of to make sure i asked him bob what do you love about your fish room dude what do you love about it bro look around i mean dude look around <laughs> i mean what do i love about this whole thing oh dude it's so awesome i can't explain to you that the biggest advantage to having a fish room is that i can play here i can play here I can play here. I can run here. Yeah. Over there. Oh, it's the and best. Then one day it's just wow. 
Look dude, at these. dude, I did a video called the side tank, and it just this is that. I'm going there, going cherries. I'm going this, I'm going that. Uh, yeah, trying that, and like, and you're like, you know, you're doing plants, you're doing like cherries and see more. Oh, these geofigures are awesome. Those mm -hmm. are wicked, man. Well, dude. Thank you so much for dropping some knowledge on the fish room and what you love about it and playing in it. And Folks, ask me questions in the comments about this fish room. If you want to know, drop it in the comments. If you like what we're doing, subscribe. Make it an awesome week and tank on, everybody. Later! We walk in here and, I mean, what do you got? This is a 100-gallon Larry at eye level. Yes. Uh, the low boy, so it's a six-footer. And man, you had me at hello when I walked in, and Ben was telling me you're a nice style.